I will need your assistance in defeating the enemy unit. Right. Right. I understand. Come on, Cosmos. Acknowledged. Engaging with maximum attack force. <laughs> This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and it's time for Chapter 6 of Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 3! Also, Spa Sadathustra! Well, viewers, time for Chapter 6. We are officially at the midpoint of the game. Oh, good. You ate it. Did you like it? You look like you'll be well enough to go outside soon. Is there some kind of ro romance kind of blossom in here? Hmm. That kid's not here today? Is she on? She went to pick flowers. Notice Virgil's face, viewers? He has like a slight smile on his face. Hmm. Oh. You mind if I ask you something? I'll do my best to answer. Why did you save me? I'm your enemy. I guess you are. But that has nothing to do with me. I just wanted to save you. I didn't care about anything else. She is too pure for this fucking world, man. That doesn't make sense. I came to this planet to dispose of you realians. You could be executed for saving me. All that mattered to me was saving you. I don't understand that at all. Is it really that strange to want to save someone's life? I've been ordered to kill realians. To a soldier, orders are absolute. There's nothing more important than life. Isn't that true for both soldiers and realians? I want you to live. And because of it, we are here, together. Yeah. T meeting of the minds, in, in essence. Why don't you get some sleep? You need to regain your strength. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. You're not my fucking mother! No, 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 I'm just kidding. The food was delicious. Oh. I'm glad you liked it. I put rat poison. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Can you imagine if Verbronia actually did that though? That'd be a plot twist right there. Holy shit. I'm glad things are working out between them. Shion. Well. I'm impressed they can grow in a place like this. Here comes the prick. they haven't died yet. No, they won't die. I water them every single day and give them fertilizer. Oh, I see. Well, there's no guarantee that they won't die in the future. I don't understand it. Why did you want to plant them here? You could have planted them in the flower bed in the rear garden. Because... That's too far away from Mom's room. Makes sense. This is closer to her room. And that way, Daddy can see them, too. I can't really see Supervisor Uzuki having any interest in flowers. <laughs> Oof. Listen. You need to understand how the world works. For humans to live, we have to conquer and destroy and eat other organisms. That's the most basic function of an organic being. I'm sorry, Xi'an, but there's no point to what you're doing. But that's not true. When pretty flowers are in bloom, they make everyone feel happier. Even my daddy. I wouldn't bet on that. Even Feb said so. And that's why I planted them here. Huh. I don't get it, but if you say so... How ironic. They started off not liking each other, and then in the end, they started loving each other. Just like with Febronia and Virgil. But obviously, different hey, circumstances. If you're gonna just sit there, then give me a hand. What are those flowers over there? <laughs> what? Well, why should I have to do that? Because you aren't doing anything. Stop complaining and help. Go on, do it. Hey! Hey, quit it! <laughs> <laughs> now that's the Xion we know. Ah, ah, that's cold. This is all your fault. <laughs> You're all wet. <laughs> <sighs> this just isn't my day. Well, what do you want me to do? 
Why do the flowers there? Oh, and this one too. Hmm. Not like that. You have to be more careful. Otherwise, you'll hurt them. How can I hurt them? They're just flowers. No, here. Give it to me. I'll show you how. Yeah, just sprinkle them gently. Don't drown them, shit. Huh? Coming! Here, make sure you water them, okay? What? But, hey! <laughs> wow. Fine, whatever. So, this is how Shion and Kevin met. I guess they knew each other all these years as well, and then they eventually met again and became, um, well, whatever they were wow, back there. Wow, so this is Cosmos' basic theory? Hmm. These are some excellent calculations. Hmm. Fantastic blueprints, if I could even read them myself, which I can't. Well, how about it? Can you revive the princess? Is it possible to fix Cosmos? Beats me. Wow. You're the one that made these Erde Kaiser summons and shit, and yet you cannot fix something like Cosmos? What? With this data you brought back, and the newly designed body, it is possible to restore her to her original form. Then... But even so, there's still too many parts we don't understand. Even if the repairs are perfect, we don't know if she'll reboot or not. Just whack her upside the head, that works for every computer I've had. She's completely different from Erde Kaiser, the field in which we specialize. Yeah, I kind of figured. Indeed. This thing doesn't even transform, much less combine. You have not seen Cosmos in battle, old man, so shut the fuck up. What the? That's not the problem. Did you say something? Oh, uh, nothing. Wow. Anyway, we'll do what we can. <laughs> After all. I don't get many chances to play around with this baby. That sounds kind of sus. Just, uh, uh, don't be doing anything pervy with Cosmo. She is a an android, you understand. But then again, you know, you think about androids and then you think, oh, well, Krillin and Android 18, no, no, it, it isn't like that. <laughs> oh, that was even more sus. Yeah. <laughs> Now that was just creepy. <laughs> Chief, are you sure about this? If we leave it up to them, they may make things even worse. Hey, I heard that, you. Uh. When it comes to robotics, I don't make mistakes. Sit back and leave it to me. Hmm? I. Now, all you people here are in the way. Get the fuck out! Get out! Shoo! Pretty much. Why don't you try out the latest game in the lounge? We modified it a little, so I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, that High Cox game? <laughs> high Cox. Really? Well, I guess it might be nice to relax a little. Let's check it out, Xion. High Cox! Sounds good. I'll go with you, too. Wait. You stay here, assistant number two. Huh? What did you expect? You're my temporary assistant. Don't you have Scott here? You do have an assistant already. Don't tell me you're already planning on taking a break. Right then. Let's get to it, Alan. Wow. Well, might not be a bad idea to just relax and then play a game. We're already playing a game, but she doesn't know that. I think I'll go to the lounge. On Oh, the online store may have been updated. I should probably check that first. Right, we'll do that. Now I'm assistant number two. <laughs> Good luck with that, bruh. In any case, uh, we gotta make ourselves to the first floor. Well, you don't have to, but... Well, actually, you kinda do. You know what, never mind. You actually do wanna go to the first floor because the shops have been upgraded. And now our party members are back so we can finally freaking equip them. So, there you go. That being the case... Uh, I want to see if the shop got updated yet. And oh yeah, viewers, remember those crimson rings I told you guys to purchase back when we were in um the city? I hope you got them. 
I think they, I think they, I think they sell them in the, um, the blue plate now. Let me see. What? Hmm. They don't sell any new, um, equipment. So I guess the ones we got near the end of chapter five is the new equipment, I guess. But yeah, 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 yeah. They still sell the rings. So I recommend getting these rings. Trust me on this. At the very least, get three rings. Three of each ring, if at all possible. Only got eight more so, or not, I should have really just got seven, because we only got seven party members. But I more so got eight, so that way I wouldn't have to constantly switch them in and out and shit. But you can do whatever you want. Viewers, I recommend also that you pick up um some um anything that prevents the poison status so get some cobra bangles and stuff like that is definitely going to be very fucking helpful i'm going to equip my party members with the equipment i had gotten in the shop um in the previous chapter and i'll be right back all right viewers i'm back we are back at the dub ride mine in the case before we continue on um here's my setup for everybody now we have a boss fight coming up soon so i recommend equipping um your party members with anything that either nullifies the poison status or cuts it in half so for shiana got her on the garuda bangle everyone else gets a rare brace also to protect against with the slow rate as well because that we'll be dealing with that too um equip everybody with crimson rings to add fire element to their attacks trust me on this you'll see why soon that being said though let's go talk to mine Oh, it's you. Did you learn anything about my father? Yeah. Even without hearing your answer, I can tell by looking at your faces. I thought as much. I'll be alright. I feel as if a weight's been taken off my shoulders. Actually, I think I can live even more positively than before. Thank you for telling me the truth. I'll carry you on my father's will. Together with my grandfather, we'll restore this mind to its former glory. Before it gets destroyed in like a couple days. <laughs> no, no, but no, pretty much. Here's my thanks. Please take it. Cool, thank you, Mai. We get Decoder 15. I'm really grateful for your help with my father. I'm going to devote myself to restoring this mind together with my grandfather. My father left me loophole. As long as I have him, I can take on anything. Restoring a mind will be no problem at all. I do feel kind of bad for her in a way because... When I think about it, um, the planet is going to be destroyed in like a couple days. You know, because of the Milsha conflict and everything. And oh yeah, we want to move the crate on um, um, the crane again. Play a more crane game. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, no, damn it. Ugh. Okay, that was fail. Let's try that again. There we go. Only took one extra attempt. Wanted to do that off screen more so just in case I have multiple failings. I didn't want to put you viewers through that shit. <laughs> in case, yeah, we get an Ether Pack S. And um, if you play with the. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we got two more things to do with that crane. So, what you want to do is you want to leave the world, or rather, leave this area, go back to the world map, come back in, the cranes will be reset. There are two items in particular that you can get here. One is a skill upgrade B, and if you do it again, you can get Momo swimsuit. So I'm going to do this off screen, and I'll meet you guys back in the diner in the Elsa. I'll be right back. All right, viewers of Mac, we are back in the Elsa. In any case, Leah, viewers, look, this is Junior in his swimsuit. <laughs> Looking good, Junior. Looking good. In any case, I also got Momo swimsuit as well. So, yeah, let's go see how Momo looks with it. Let me bring her in the party. Aw, adorable. Alright, in any case. No, I'm not having her lead. Curves. In any case. There you go. Uh, there you go, I'm about to say. Well, I got three I got three out of the seven um swimsuits now. I got Shion's, Juniors, and Momos. I just need to get the other four now. In any case, let's go play some high cocks. Literally. <laughs> How high is your cock? No, no! Uh, it's the name of the game! Oh my god, that's annoying. It's one of the reasons why I don't like this mini game. Damn it! <laughs> okay, here we go. 
Well, we don't really have to play. I'll do my best. We just have to um exit out. If I can, game. Okay, that was dumb of me. Can I leave? <laughs> oh my god, that was annoying. Viewers, I kept on hitting the wrong button and kept on doing the tutorial like three times. That was actually pretty fun. Those two did a good job for a change. How do you feel? Do you feel relaxed? I feel frustrated because it's like... Going through that was like going through PvP in Final Fantasy XIV. It's terrible, especially if you have a bad team. Yes, I'm sorry. I guess I've been worrying everyone. Xion, you really need to take a chill pill, girl. Do you need some of my antidepressants? Because I have plenty. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? When stuff happens, don't hesitate to tell us. Exactly. Don't keep piling this shit on yourself. Thanks. I'm gonna go rest a bit in my room. If anything happens, give me a call. Sure thing. Yeah, get some rest. You've been through a lot of shit, especially with your dad. <laughs> Man. Meanwhile. <sighs> Professor, I finished attaching the exterior. Okay, we're going to try rebooting her. Assistant number two. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Cosmos. It's time to wake up. He does have a name, you know, Professor. Will it work? Is Zelda gonna awaken? No? It didn't work. Uh, that's strange. With the data she brought back, the core repair should be flawless. So what the fuck? Why is she not waking up then? Plot? Plot. Where could the problem be? Professor, it's gotta be that. Oh yeah, <laughs> that. The plot! Love and courage. Yeah, love and courage. Love and courage? No, I'm pretty sure the problem lies with you two. <laughs> hey, assistant number two. You, yes? What are you standing around for? Hurry up and bring your lady friend. I want to hear the opinion of a specialist. Hey, I'm a specialist in the same field. Yeah! Do you expect me to rely on your opinions? Hurry up and call her. Fine, fine. Jeez. Anything to get out of this fuck. Professor, the reactor output is unstable. Maybe we needed those parts you had left over. Don't worry about little things like that. It's probably just a gauge malfunctioning. Just hit it. Right. <gasps> oh, shit! Is that the black... Uh-oh. I sense danger, and yet we got a shower scene. Hmm. I know what is going to happen already. The coming events will bring suffering to countless lives. There's no shampoo and in here. And it will here. leave a permanent scar on the universe. But I alone may have a chance to change everything. Will you do it? Cosmos, what would you do? Would you chastise me for being illogical? Just like you always do? <laughs> Cosmos, would you abandon countless lives before you? Simply because it's the logical thing to do? Hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, it must be Alan. Shower scene done. Yes. So yeah, those that those of you that wanted to see tits and shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. This isn't that kind of snuff, okay? It's me, Alan. Sorry. Have you got a minute? Besides, the game has enough fan service for people, and as it is. Sure. What is it? 
Thanks. What? What is it? Hurry up. I'm gonna catch cold. Uh, um, yeah, uh, I mean, uh... Oh, uh, my God. Oh, my God, man. Get it together, Alan. The, the professor... What about the professor? Uh, rebooting Cosmos isn't working. And he says he wants your opinion. I see. Okay, I'll be right... Whoa! What? What Chief! The? Chief, are you all right? Chief! <laughs> Damn! You should have expected that shit! She's naked! Where's the explosion? In Cosmos' maintenance room. <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up! You're the one that knocked him down! Wait up, Chief! Wow! Whoa! Confound it! I am an old man for heaven's sake. That position, though. Oh my it's god, old man. Young people these days have no manners. Uh, Professor, violent criminals don't care about manners. It's that dude, the Black Testament! His name was. I forget his name now. Hey, hey, who the hell did this to our Elsa? The dude in black did it! He's sus! Captain, leave this to the little master and me. Just take care of Scott and the professor. Uh, Our bullets ain't doing shit! Damn it! How the hell did he get in here? Captain, what happened with the security? I wish I knew. The security system is just fine. A fly couldn't get into this place. It's the plot's fault! It isn't anyone's fault. This guy is a monster. Hmm. Tony! Who was this guy's Out name? But, oh man! Don't worry. I'm perfectly calm right now. Voyager. <gasps> Why are you here? Voyager. What is your objective? Right, I remember him from the second game. Whoa! <laughs> Plug barrier! Old man! Junior, are you alright? Shion! But isn't that the Black Testament? Cosmos! Cosmos! Oh, no! She! Shia, what are you doing? <laughs> Bitch, please! Oh shit! Shia! has failed. Cosmos! Bitch! She looks different. A little. Go, girl, go! Take out her... Take out his plot barrier! Cosmos versus Darth Vader. Who's going to win? Place your bets now. Oh, oh, that's screenshot worthy right there. Take this, bitch! Whoa! <laughs> Kick his ass! Damn! Shion, I will need your assistance in defeating the enemy unit. Right. Right. I understand. Come on, Cosmos. Acknowledged. Engaging with maximum attack force. Let's kick that ass! Because we're together again! Now! There you go! <laughs> it's time for a boss fight! Versus the Black Testament, Voyager! Now, Voyager is by far one of the most annoying bosses in the game. 
He has 10,000 HP. He is weak to fire, strong to ice and beam, and nullifies lightning, so don't use any of those fucking elements. He's immune to poison and seal, ether, seal, boost, and reflect damage. Needless to say, ah! try and get the slow status on him if you can with slow edge or the slow spell, and then get to fucking work on trying to use heat and rare steel. He has a new item that we can steal from him, and I recommend that you do. <laughs> Ow! Now, seeing as he's the Black Testament, you obviously think he has a lot of evil shit. Evil claw. Evil, evil slash! No, no, no. This isn't this isn't X4. Though it might as well be. In any case, um, I need to analyze ball on this bitch. There you go. See, he's biological, obviously. Well, I I need to I needed to confirm that because look at the dude's face! Look at his face! That's, uh, yeah. Beamster! Noise. Alright, now. Let's go and get that item. Actually, before we do, because he is a little powerful, let's go and get some de defensive up. Don't be so defensive, viewers. Shit. <laughs> oh, that was creepy. Voyager is smiling at Shion. Sus smile. He's targeting characters with low health. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, the thing is with Voyager, Voyager will 9 out of 10 go after characters that have the lowest HP. So, in this case, it will probably be Shion and Momo that are going to be getting the brunt of his attacks. Needless to say, yeah, like that. Alright, um, Cosmos is our tank as per usual. Her frame looks so much different than earlier in the game. Cool. In any case, I want that item, and then and then I'm gonna switch Shion out. Damn. All right, I'm gonna have to switch. I might have I might have Ziggy get the finishing blow in, especially considering Voyager and Ziggy are bitter enemies. So I want him to get the final blow, but I need to switch him out at the moment for Junior. Since Junior, I gave him the open heart, which has that increased small chance of getting a rare steal. So, speaking of which. Uh, still didn't work, huh? Keep trying! Uh, be right back. Alright, viewers, I'm back. I got the Venom Ring. Noise. Alright, Shion, you can get the fuck out. <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You're done, girl. Take a break. You've earned it. <laughs> Low HP? Yeah, pretty much. So now he's going after Cosmos. Huh. Over my dead body! Yes! Notice how much more damage we're dealing? Yeah, it's the, it's the Crimson Rings, which adds fire elements to our attacks. Yeah, you want to have it here. Ready, I'll spike! Woo nice. Nice shoot, Tex. If only I could equip Cosmos with the um, Crimson Ring, but of course, the plot dictates everything. Yeah! So, needless to say. Alright, let's get some more damage and... Actually, wait a minute. I'll wait on that. I'll wait on that. Let's see. I gave somebody skin down. I think I think that was um. Is that chaos? I think it was. Forward. Take that bitch down. Go go Power Rangers. <laughs> Your Megazord did not do shit. Stand t stand keeper. Break damage is now ineffective? Wow, so now I, he won't sustain any break damage now. So yeah, a lot of the bosses have these these specific moves. Overtaker, stand taker, yeah, all the shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to switch out Cosmos. Um Chaos! There you go. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wait till his next turn, but whatever. Oh wait, oh wait! Why did I use for a steal? I already got the item already. That was dub of me. Forgive me. Alright, that being the case. For the other baby! 
Nice! Devil's Reception? Whoa! Now that, now if your character, if he was targeting someone in particular and they had low HP, that would literally be a one shot. Be careful. There you go. All right, we need to heal Chaos. I, I, I need him in the fray. Chaos! Ow! Quit it. Is there a, do I have a way of healing that? Ether Drive. Did it work? There you go! Noise. Alright, let's get some more damage in, baby! Rick Wheel! Yeah! Ew! Damn, look at that damage! Karma, my ass! Ow! Yeah, Karma, my ass has a chance of inflicting poison. You know this chaos didn't get poisoned? Yeah, but then again, it, um, the, those rare braces, only half the chance of getting poisoned. You can still get poisoned, by the way. So don't think that you can't, because you still can. In any case, balls are out of baby! Noise. Ow. All right. I'm going to have to heal now, because this is getting a little too ridiculous. What the fuck? Why can't I... All oh, right, it revives. Okay, about to say like, why can't I use my seven moves? Dumbass. Yeah. Have my melons. There you go. Ow. Oh. Whoa! I healed them just in time. <laughs> wow, that was close. Skin down. Ether drive. Did it work? Yes, just what I needed. All right, Jen, you can get the fuck out. Thank you. Ziggy! All right, in any case, um... Get some balance down, too. Yes. Use any kind of status-inflicting elements that you can on the dude, because it's gonna be... Whoa! Oh, shit! It's gonna be very effective against this guy. Trust me on this. Now, quick! Quick in, quick in, quick in! Gotta go quick in! Twice. All right, with that, I need to get slow on the guy now. Devil Break! Might as well, because Voyager kind of looks like the devil, almost. Almost. In the case, um... I need to bring Xion back in, because I need some slow. Actually, I gave somebody the slow spell. Who the fuck was it? Was it Momo? I think it was Momo. All right, switching Momo in. There you go. Alright, uh, yeah. Don't be afraid to use any fire ether attacks as well. Just in case you couldn't. <laughs> this dude is so fucking creepy. What the fuck? Physical attacks are now ineffective? So now I can't use physical attacks now. Wow. Wow. Speaking of slow. Ether drive. There you go. But yeah, as I was about to say before he interrupted me, don't be afraid to use your um your fire ether attacks. Very effective here, especially in cases in which this happens. It's a dry. Noise. Oh shit! I forgot the I forgot about the poison. Shit. Yeah, let's don't not deal with that. Woo! Oh, here we go again. Momo. <laughs> I am shocked she did not get KO. <laughs> don't try too hard. Yeah, don't be a try hard, Momo. You got this, girl. Don't try so hard. Relax. <laughs> oh God, here we go again. Ow! This guy is so fucking annoying, and that's why I want to kick his ass. Ugh. He keeps guarding against my fucking attacks! Bitch! <laughs> Stop it when you're combing my asthma! Ow! <laughs> Dude, you're spamming this shit now! He really wants to kill me! <laughs> Look at this! He is spamming this shit! Ugh. Okay! That's enough! That's enough! All right, 
right, um, there should be enough to finish them off, but I don't want to take any chances. Let me use my analyze ball. Let me see. Perfect. Shit. Shit. Shit! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh, Cosmos! Woo! Oh shit! Shit! This is not cool! Oh man! Oh god, that was cool! Oh! Man, this dude is an asshole! Wait a minute! Do I got the crystallization? Oh, I forgot about that! Viewers, if you use the Seven Moons item, there is a chance, a small chance, but a chance that you'll be inflicted with the crystallization status. Fuck, I have for completely forgotten about that. Uh, oh! Bruh! <laughs> You're starting to piss me off now. My body isn't responding. <laughs> My body! My body isn't responding. Xion, I need to be cleaned. No, no. All right, uh. Wow, man. I didn't think Voyager was going to kick my ass so hard. Hmm. Good on him. Take this. And then again. Get that crystallization off you, girl. <laughs> Ow! All right, everyone guard. S no! I thought I healed that! Oh, son of a bitch! Die! No! Go hard on that ass! Testament. His voice hit me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it seems your time is up. Voyager. You'll pay for what you have done. We will settle this later at a more appropriate time. Farewell for now. Goodbye, Jan Sauer. <laughs> oh, you bitch! Hey, why does the bag Are we safe now? Yes, we're safe for now, Momo. Are we really but safe? It wouldn't have ended well for us if we had kept on fighting. Cosmos. We... Thank goodness, I was so worried about you. Xion, it appears that I have caused you undue emotional stress while my functions were suspended. I must apologize. Aww. You should. I was really worried about you. I'm so glad you're all right. Xion? Xion. Xion! Chief? Xion. Man. 
Shion, don't do this shit to me, okay? You're really scaring me. Uh, is this the beast from the first game? Who's that? Cherenkov? Yoakim Mizrahi? Are you Yoakim Mizrahi? And once again, ignore the line in the middle to go away after the cutscene. Don't you think waves resemble the relationships between people? They ebb and flow as if feeling the distance between them and repeat that process eternally. Yeah, that's nice and all, but I kind of want to know why you're here. Hmm. Young lady, do you love your father? Uh, what? Parents and children, too, could be said to be like waves. Professor Mizrahi, what was your relationship to my father? What good will knowing that do? I don't think knowing that will be of any benefit to you now. I... Words can completely change their meaning depending on the mind of the listener. They can change into good ones or into bad. Some words cannot be conveyed. What one thinks is good will not always lead to good results. You're a scientist too. Then you should understand. I still want to know. Without knowing, how do I know where I stand? Hmm. That man's words are merely shackles. That man? He is a man possessed by his own narrow-minded ego. He brings suffering to all those he comes into contact with. I don't want to see your sad face. Who is this man you're talking about? Who are you talking about? I don't know anyone like... I promised Sakura. Sakura? I would make a world in which all wills that have yet to be born can live in happiness. Right. I remember something being said about that in the second game. I want you to live in a world like that too. That is my wish. Professor Mizrahi? Don't do anything you don't want to. Be true to your feelings. Wow. Do that, and she will answer your call. She who? What... What was that about? Huh? Who is this girl? Cosmos? What? That can't be... Is it? Hmm. Uh, Jin. J Jin? Uh, I... How's it going? You fainted from exhaustion. You really should rest more. Or you just refuse to hear advice from a quack. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. Jin, I, I met Dad. I see. Aren't you going to ask what we talked about? I don't think I need to. I doubt you were able to have much of a conversation with him. You wouldn't be able to keep yourself composed enough for that. <laughs> he, he's right! He knows her more than anyone, and that's exactly what happened. You're being mean. <laughs> <sighs> Big meanie. Huh? Chief? Time to eavesdrop. The Utic organization had vessels of anima. From what Professor Mizrahi said, they're needed to activate the Zohar. If we can stop their experiment, we can prevent Milsha's space-time anomaly. And if we're able to do that... We might have a chance to save Mother and the others. 
Also, if we can use the vessels of Anima, we might be able to get the energy needed to return to our original world. We might also be able to find out what Professor Mizrahi was really trying to do. Hmm. Are you sure we should be doing this? We really are threatening to fuck up the timeline here. That may indeed be possible. But the risk is too great. But we don't know what's going to happen to us either way. Don't try to stop me. This is a past I don't want. I'm going to change it. Shion, you are being... You're being a naive little girl right now. Even if you want to change the past, do you really think it's going to happen that easily? Do you honestly believe that? If you change the past here, it's going to fuck up the future. Do you not think about that? What about all the friendships, all the people we've met? Everything will have changed. Do you honestly want that to happen? Wow. Shion, you need your past to be who you are now. Exactly! But she is so stubborn. Man. Yes, that could work. If we had vessels of anima, we might be able to use that energy to return to our original time. Yeah, I like the past and all, but I don't want to get caught in, uh, caught in a war. We could come under attack at any time. Just being able to use the ES would benefit us. But the vessels are stored inside Labyrinthos. I don't think they'll let us inside that easily. We could try breaking in like we did in the second game. We have forged IDs. If we use them well, getting inside will be easy. Hmm. At any rate, our presence here is causing an expanding distortion throughout the entire universe. It could lead to not only us disappearing, but the destruction of the universe itself. Now you're starting to scare me, old man. Gotcha. Get yourselves ready to infiltrate the place. Ooh, another infiltration. The third descent operation. The Milshin conflict is going to take place in a few days. We have to hurry. Yeah. Uh, Momo? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Momo might end up running into her father. Infiltration in Labyrinthos. Any infiltration mission starts with checking one's equipment. Pretty much. I forgot. I, I was like... Ooh. How are you the leader? Mitigates all right, we got Cosmos back too. Unfortunately, her levels, I think, are the same before she had left the party earlier. So, y'all, yeah, once again, I'm going to have to raise her up more. But luckily, this is the last time she'll be leaving the party like that. So, got her for the rest of the game. In any case, viewers, will Xion be able to face her past? Will we be able to even change the past? And what awaits us as we infiltrate Labyrinthos to steal their vessels of anima? Find out next time! You guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming bits for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell to so notify of my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. So next time, dudes and dudettes, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smell you later.